my jungle friends. Woo! Another math video. Yes, my friends, it's, you can see, a lesson 5.2. That's right, my friends, and look at our topic for today is going to be divide decimals by whole numbers. Ooh, division, yes, and an essential question states how can you use a model to divide a decimal by a whole number? I like it. This is an investigation, my friends. That's right. It is a hands-on. Yes, that means if you have some materials at home, along with the video, you could go ahead and participate. Of course, we're look, going to be using decimal models. And of course, you could use some coloring pencils for some shading. Let's get started. Angela has enough wood to make a picture frame with a perimeter of 2.4 meters. She wants the frame to be a square. What will be the length of each side of the frame? Shade decimal models to show two and four tenths. Okay, we're going to do that, much like our friend here in the picture. So let's go ahead and do the same. So here I have my two holes and my four tenths. So it said to shade the decimal models to show that, and this is what I've done. B says you need to share your model among blank equal groups. Well, if we refer back to the question, it says she wants the frame to be a square. Well, in a square, we know a couple of things, right? We know, number one, that a square has all equal sides and that it has four sides. So if we're breaking this into groups and she's looking to make that picture frame with a certain perimeter of that total amount and we're breaking up into equal groups for each side, then we'd be taking our problem two and four tenths and we're, in essence, we're dividing it by four. So then we would be breaking it up in to four equal groups. So since two holes cannot be shared among four groups without regrouping, cut your model apart. Okay, I'm gonna have some difficulty cutting my model apart here online, but you might be able to see that right away that 10 tenths here is the same as one hole. So if I put 10 tenths, see that's equal to one. So again, over here, 10 tenths will also be equal to one. So now we have 20 tenths plus our four tenths, now we have 24 tenths. There are blank tenths in 24. Well, now we know there are 24 tenths and in the number two and four tenths. Share the tenths equally among the four groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and start distributing my tenths. I said I have 24 tenths. You might see what starts to happen here. If I give one tenth to each group, see there I have four. You see here I have five in each group. That means I have 20 tenths, so I have four more tenths. Now I have six times four, I have my 24 tenths. And again, the reason I needed to break those apart was I couldn't take the two holes and divide them equally. I only had two holes, two ones, and I can't distribute those or, or share them equally. So I had to take those two ones apart, giving me the 24 tenths. Now I can share those equally. So we did share it equally among the four groups. So now we know, now we know we had zero ones and we had six tenths in each group. So I'm gonna write a decimal for the amount in each group. I'm going to write zero. We wanna get that zero in front of that decimal and then six. Now I have six tenths. So just use your model to complete the number sentence. So 2.4 divided by four we determine would be six tenths. So the length of each side of the frame will be six tenths meter because that was the unit of measure that was used in the problem. Cool, draw conclusions. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at mathematical practice five really quick here. You can see mathematical pr practice five says use appropriate tools strategically. Okay, I know when to use certain tools to help me explore and deepen my math understanding. This example here of having a math toolbox, knowing how and when to use them. So now it says that use that concrete model. Explain why you needed to cut apart the model in step C. And actually, we just talked about what we had to do. You know, I, I couldn't share the two holes among the four groups uh, equally, but I could regroup and share the 24 tenths. Now it says explain how your model would be different if the perimeter were four and eight tenths meters? Hmm, that's a great question. I like these questions. Well, one thing is definitely four and eight, four and eight tenths meters is double the two and four tenths. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't need to, to cut or separate the four holes into 40 tenths. 
So each of the four groups would receive one whole. And then, of course, what was left over, we would have eight tenths. And I could split that up. And each group would get two tenths. And there is my explanation as I just described it. Time for page master. Here we go. Making some connections. OK. It says you can also use base 10 blocks to model division of a decimal by a whole number. So the materials here are base 10 blocks. It says Kyle has a roll of ribbon 3 and 21 hundredths yards long. He cuts the ribbon into three equal lengths. How long is each piece of ribbon? And it says here we're, we're dividing because we're taking that total quantity of 3 and 21 hundredths yards and we need to make three equal lengths. So we have 3 and 21 hundredths divided by 3. So step one, use base 10 blocks to show 3 and 21 hundredths. Remember that a flat represents 1, a long represents 1 tenth, and a small cube represents 1 hundredth. So we do, we have three ones then. We have, looks like 2 tenths and 1 hundredth. Step two says share the ones. So share the ones equally among three groups. That's pretty nice. That's really easy because that's going to be one one has been shared with each group and zero ones are left over. Okay, we had three of them. Let's take a look. There they are right up there. So one is going to end up in each group. Now to share the tens. Well, two tens cannot be shared among three groups without regrouping. So we need to regroup the tens by replacing them with hundreds. Well, 20, I'm sorry, two tenths jumping ahead here, 2 tenths is equal to 20 hundredths. So there are 0 tenths that can be shared in each group and 0 tenths left over. Okay, After we regroup, we're going to end up now with 21 hundredths. So we weren't able to share any tenths at all. Now it says step 4, share the hundredths. Share the 21 hundredths equally among the three groups. Well, we can take 21 divided by 3. So they're going to let us know there's going to be 7 hundredths shared in each group and zero hundreds left over because there's no remainder from uh, that little division problem. So each piece of ribbon is going to be one. We have that one whole, zero tenths, and now we have those seven hundreds. One and seven hundredths yards long. Now it does say here, Matt Talk, explain why your answer makes sense. Well, I think I would say it makes sense uh, because three and twenty-one hundredths it's about 3, and 3 divided by 3 does equal 1. So that's really close to the quotient that we uh, got here, that amount of 1 and 7 hundredths. So because that's about 1, I'd say my answer makes sense. And there you go, my friends. Oh my goodness, is that the end of another video? Woo! Man, poof! Just like that. Psst, it's gone. My friends, thank you for joining me on another math video. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah! Time to say hasta la vista, my friends. We shall see you next time. Now, live long and prosper.